Hi, I'm Varog. You may remember me from previous Let's Plays such as Let's Play Dark Souls, Mage Edition, or maybe something along the lines of Persona or Heavy Rain is more up your alley. Regardless, if you've never watched any of my Let's Plays, you're still very welcome here. Now obviously since this is release day and I'm actually quite tired after a day of work, I'm going to get as far as I can here. This is completely blind, I have no idea what in the hell is waiting for me, and I, all I know is I'm going to die. That's all anyone ever really knows when they start a Dark Souls game, so, uh... Oh boy. I'm just gonna say right now, folks, there's going to be some language. This is a Souls game. When I'm learning Souls games, I cuss a lot. I'm gonna try and keep it to a, as, you know, a minute. I'm not gonna try and cuss as much as I can. I'm basically gonna be going about how I would normally talk, so... Us adults, when we get frustrated, we sometimes, you know... Cuss a little. So I'm just warning you right now so there's no misunderstandings. I try and keep myself very censored in my other Let's Plays. This one, not really going to be an option. So I'll shut up now because I want to watch this just as much as you do. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed.
Wow. That that's actually that was really good. That was a really good uh, opening cutscene. That really kind of what's going on here? I know we're obviously cursed with the brand of the undead, but it seemed really hopeless and dreary. Really, you know, I just kind of feel sad. And this place isn't going to lift my spirits either, judging by the light of things. At least we're we're still alive, right? Are we still alive? Okay, good. We're we're okay. Are we going to have a character creation screen anytime soon here, or are we just gonna go with like Saints Row Third and go like through a little tutorial area and then that? Or I I guess I'll just shut up. Do I have anything on me, or do you just dump me in the middle of nowhere with nothing on me from? I wouldn't put it past you. Um, you gave me jack and shit. That's nice. Well, surely there's no enemies here, right? That's, that's something. If there are enemies here from, there we're going to have some stern words. Stern, stern words. I'm exploring first. One thing you'll learn about me in this let's play, if you've never watched any of my other ones, is that I try and search everything, but if there's the one spot that I didn't search, that's where the item is. Even if I find the item, it doesn't mean that I actually saw it, because my perception skill is very low in real life. Judging from the look of things, though, that I seem to be wasting time. I'll check over there, but I don't think there's anything else here. I love the way that our our armor just like flitters along in the wind. It's nice. I love that. Then again, I'm a sucker for Phys X, so, you know, there's that. Okay, there's nothing over here. I just kind of wasted everybody's time. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm a curious man. There better not be enemies in here. What's that noise? Oh, God. What are you? What are you? Oh god, did I take you off? I have the OG god. How many of you are there in here? Three? I count three. I have no weapons. Am I supposed to fight this thing? Something tells me I'm not supposed to try doing this. But that's never stopped me before. Here, doggy, doggy, doggy looking thing. I'm just gonna punch you in the mouth, don't worry. Oh, did you... Oh, God, there's four of them. I can't fight all these. Plan B! Run! Where am I going? Where am I going? This is a dead end. Oh, God. There's an item. Please be a weapon. Oh, you fuck. I just planned myself in a corner. Corner. Yeah, I'm going blind here. There's nothing over here. Where the hell am I going? I don't know. Aha, uh -huh, this way. Why didn't I? Why didn't it was so simple? Even I didn't think of it. Why didn't I think of go go straight, you moron? Are they gonna follow me? I need refuge. If so, I don't think they are. Okay, so. Is this supposed to be a house? Holy crap, this place is beautiful. In a... Oh, good god. I am decrepit. How awful do I look? Oh, jeez, son. You really let yourself go. I'm gonna guess that means since we only have half our health up there, I'm gonna guess that means we are fully decayed. Well, actually, I don't know if we're fully decayed. Because I've heard somewhere, if you fail a lot of invasions, you also kind of suffer even further life drain. So if you're gonna invade people, I hope you're good, otherwise you're gonna bring some hell upon yourself. That's only from hearsay on the wiki that I heard in the on the chat, so that's you know that just treat that as it is. That's a grain of salt. In my home, I need refuge from the dogs. Seems to be the ruckus. Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. 
and undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here, all the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes, you'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men. Feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> What is your name? Oh, now you want to know my name. Why didn't you just... Oh, okay, fine. Our name for this is going to be the ever-original Barak. Because, well, that's my name. Not my real name, of course, but that's my name. You don't really need to know my real name. So, yep, we're Barak. Yes, I'm sure. I, that's why I typed it in. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Think it's supposed to be. Think back deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. Oh, and here we go. I guess this is the uh, character creation screen. Okay, well, I, let's see. So we start with 15 strength and 11 dexterity. Is that dexterity? Yes, okay, what's this? Level, vigor, endurance, vitality, attunement, faith, intelligence, adapt adaptability. Raises various attributes to ensure one's survival. Boosts agility and various resistances. Why do I have the feeling that all I'm going to see online are a bunch of really, really fast, adaptable people with katanas? Anybody want to side with that? Side with me on that bet? I bet that. Of course, if you ever see me online, you'll know me because I'll be the moron with the giant armor and the big ass ultra great sword, possibly even two dual wielding them. Because I plan to do that, as stupid as it sounds, during this let's play. Okay. What about the knight? High HP and adaptability. I don't want to be a swordsman because I know they're the, their gimmick is dual wielding generally. I know you don't have to, but. Hell no, just from the way you look. I don't really like relying on miracles. Has a lot of items. Oh, I can't actually see what the items are. Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna be a warrior. Not that deprived. That's the opposite of what I said. Gift. That sounds really generic and really not probably what I want. I'm guessing it's like a humanity or a, uh... I forget they're called in Demon Souls. Oh, damn, what were those called? Those things that return you to human, I'm guessing that's what those are. I'd rather not have a bunch of life stones as a gift, because those will go fast. Uh, Homer Bone? No, I'm sure I can buy those. I have no idea what that is. Maybe. Toss to raise the strength of nearby enemies? I guess I can kind of see why you'd want that, but is that like temporary or permanent? Or if it's permanent, wow, we. It may be of some use someday. Is this like the pendant where it nothing... Is that like the pendant where nothing was, you know, happening with it? Or is it plan? Is it actually do something in game? Or what? I, well... I'm going with the bonfire, sick. 
All right, for the rest of this, I'll skip back. I'll skip forward to whenever I'm done because I don't want you. I don't want to bore you guys with what I'm getting ready to do. So yep, I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, well, then we're done, and that is what I'm going to go with. Barok is going to be a nice young man who has really rather default-ish looks. So that's uh, that's gonna be us for this, and I'm getting rid of that helmet because that thing is just awful looking, just awful. All people come here for the same reason, to break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. I can't tell if these women are insane or they're just really cynical or what, but I don't really like them. Wrong thing. Okay. I don't want this helmet. Screw this helmet. I like that better. That doesn't look that bad. I say it looks rather fetching. <laughs> You ever met that girl that has a really manly laugh? Yep, there she is. You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find yourself at an arm pass. But if your will is yet unbroken, then you may return here. To start again. With a clean slate. Of course, with most girls that have a manly laugh, most of them usually tend to be a little bit more young and more attractive than that, at least in my experiences. Then again, I'm generalizing, that's not nice to do. <laughs> I'm really starting to think these three are just completely batshit. This is a limbo. A link between Drangleic and the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed kingdom. Yeah, I'm, since you three were so welcoming, I'm going to go steal all your crap. That and you basically said I'm going to die over and over. That's not a very big vote of confidence. Now, I would hope these three would not be quite so insane to hold a mimic in their home. But if I die here for the first time, well, I'd say we're all going to be laughing, so let's do this. Because I've heard that From decided, uh oh, people are just smacking all the treasure chests. And we need to stop that crap from going on. So I've heard, if you smack a wrong treasure chest, you can just, like, destroy an item in there, man. That's... That's some hardcore right there. Am I going to... Okay, yes, I'm... Actually, no. I want to go back and get my crap back, because I saw a bunch of my DLC stuff that I got, because I got the Black Armor Collector's Edition, so I got a bunch of crap here. Let's see, which one... what's what here? 
Not that. I kind of wanted to... Oh, here we go. Physical attack, magical attack, fire, lightning. I think I could figure that out. That's bleed and that's poison. All right. There's a lot of crap to try and take in. All right, I'm going to go with the mace. And do I have another shield? I have a lot of shields. And I'm guessing... Physical reduction, magic reduction, fire reduction, lightning. Okay, I think I get this is bleed. Okay, I'm getting it. Do none of these have a hundred percent? The closest one we have is ninety. And that's a a wooden shield. A shield with an unusual design found in purgatory. Chains and spikes wrapped around the shield cause bleeding, but weaken its effectiveness. I should probably be reading a lot more of these. I'm going to be reading a lot of weapons and item descriptions. I'm just warning you right now because that's a lot of that's a good way to get story in this in Souls game. So you know, if you don't like that, you may want to watch somebody who just kind of runs through the game really <laughs> and doesn't really read a lot. Because I want to learn all I can in this. I don't really care about the transgressor staff, but maybe there's some lore here. Found in the manor in Aldia, heavier than a standard mace, but with more effective striking. Chains and spikes wrapped around cause bleeding, that is just nasty. I'm guessing these are like crystal stuff from Dark Souls, so I'm not ever going to use it because I don't like things breaking on me, but... That's my default thing, which I don't know why they gave a warrior such a useless weapon. Alright, we're, we're staying with the uh, mace. I don't have any... I do not have a darn Estus flask, you dicks. You don't even give me Estus. Oh, I see how much you like me, from. <laughs>